Right, exactly. Yeah, this has been going on for a couple hours in Lino Lakes. This is 35W northbound at County Road 23, otherwise known as Lake Drive. Crews have been dealing with a tipped truck for a couple of hours, and for now, 35W in the northbound lanes is closed. I've got a closer look at where the closure is, so you're not going to be able to drive 35W north from the spot of the crash. That's County Road 23 all the way up to where 35W and 35E split. No word yet on when this might open, but it looks like they're going to be dealing with this situation for a while now. If you're not on 35, roads are looking pretty good. We're hoping for an easy breezy Friday. Otherwise, uh, compared to the last couple of weather related road days, I'll uh, keep an eye on this spot in Lionel Lakes and let you know where else you might be facing slowdowns. Coming up, Kelly and Tom. All right, Lauren, thank you. Yeah, it is 603. We know that crash is going to have a big impact here. Right, no question. And we're keeping a close eye on that crash course in Anoka County where 35W northbound is closed. Bill Keller is on the scene. Bill, tell us what you know out there. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, it's a five mile stretch of the northbound interstate that is shut down because of the serious accident involving a semi tanker. In fact, they brought in some additional equipment. They've got a lot of light on there. Seems like they're trying to get a good look at exactly what they're dealing with. Now, this happened just after three o'clock this morning. That's when state troopers say at least one person was injured in this crash, but it's unknown the extent of their injuries or even what caused this. This is the northbound lanes of 35W. The accident involving that semi, it is just maybe a quarter mile past County Road 23. That's the exit for Lake Drive here in Lionel Lakes. Now, the semi involved does appear to be a tanker. Unclear exactly what the truck is carrying. The initial thought was they could be dealing with some type of hazardous material spill. That could be something very serious, or it could be something uh, as simple as diesel fuel that spilled from the accident. Uh, but we're, they're still trying to assess that. If this was something very dangerous or volatile, I would imagine that the southbound lanes would not still be open. But northbound, again, it's closed from 35, uh, from Lake Drive to 35E. As for the detour, traffic that is forced off at Lake Drive, you can just pretty much continue heading north for about 12 miles and then re-enter the interstate at the old Highway 61 interchange in Wyoming. Uh, as for when this gets cleaned up, that's the big question. This could be going on for quite some time, possibly 8 o'clock this morning, maybe even later. Again, we'll get, keep uh, updating throughout the morning on the latest situation. It does not appear to be a large traffic backup. That's the good part. Back to you. Right, and especially on a Friday. Mm -hmm. uh, Bill, thanks. Bill Keller, Live Force this morning. Appreciate it.